Hey everyone, my name is Michael Lombardo with Glidefast Consulting. And today I'll be doing a demo of ServiceNow's new timesheet functionality available in the Jakarta release. So ServiceNow has always had a time card application, but never one this intuitive, easy to use, and outright blows any time card application out of the water, I think. Obviously one of the major benefits of using time cards in a single platform like ServiceNow is that single source of record. So we already have our list of users, we already have our departments, we already have the majority of tasks we're working on in our day. So um, anytime you can leverage existing data and not having to start from scratch for any business process is obviously a huge win. Um, so, so that's obviously just the benefit of using ServiceNow really for any application. You are, you're using one single source of data for everything. Um, so anytime we need to use leverage users or departments, it's already in the system. So we're, we already have that data. We can leverage it. It's, it's, it's awesome. Uh, but really one thing ServiceNow never had <clears throat> with time cards is this time sheet concept of, you know, of really looking at one timesheet with all of your time cards, right? ServiceNow just had time cards. It would be, you know, one time card record per task you were performing. So it was a little bit difficult uh, to the untrained eye if you, if you know, to get a one single pane of glass view into what did I do this week. Um, so I'm going to go through uh, starting with this worker portal that was uh, built obviously in Service Portal. Um, it's really, really, <laughs> really intuitive, really sleek, kind of everything we need in a time card application. Um, and us ServiceNow day oneers or, you know, the early day ServiceNow um, users have really kind of been always waiting for this enhancement. So it's probably going to be super exciting for um, some of the, uh, the older ServiceNow folks or the ServiceNow veterans, as I like to call them. Um, so I'm just going to see if I can, I went ahead and, and just generated a, um, and this is all demo data too, so I apologize, but I just went ahead and said uh, generate, I used the um, uh, UI action here on the form that says uh, just generate a time card uh, from work that I did this week. Um, so I, I have to look under the hood to see exactly what that's pulling from. Uh, so, you know, maybe it knows uh, I was out of the office or <clears throat> maybe it just generates that out of the box. Uh, it looks like I had a test story assigned to me. So I'm just going to double click into this row here. I'm going to type, you know, four hours. I'm going to say I had four hours off on Tuesday. Let's say I had one hour off on Friday. I'm going to hit the check mark and save it. Um, so you see I'm able to add time right into, right on this form so I don't have to go to another record. I don't have to open up another form. I'm right here and you'll see automatically my time card gets adjusted. So if I add in, you know, uh, two hours on keeping the lights on, you know, it's going to add it up automatically all real time. <clears throat> and you'll see I'm also getting like a time card kind of uh, breakdown here. So uh, if I go ahead and add some, let's say some add-ons, I did some work on Sunday. I'm a great employee. I did some work on Monday, did some work on Tuesday, save it. <clears throat> you'll see now we're starting to get um, some, you know, now my, my time card's broken down a little bit better. Uh, Majority is in uh, scrum tasks, some out of the office, so I'm keeping the lights on. And you'll see I, I get that single pane of glass view of what my time was spent on and how much time I put in this week. Uh, you'll see, so this this time card, the state is pending, total is 19 hours. I can submit. Um, <clears throat> also, I can see, hey, what are the tasks that I worked on this week? Uh, or this these tasks that may be assigned to me? Um, I can probably filter this out too. So yeah, so projects, I can filter it out by which task type. Um, so let's say I had some projects. Let's say I just worked on some projects here. And I think I can just drag this over. Add quick add. Oh good. So I can add a quick, quick add here. Uh, what I did Monday through Friday. So say, did five hours. Add time. Automatically added a time card. Oh great. So added per day. So that's really cool. So if I want to add an add to time sheet, if I want to add a quick add, I can say, you know, I did five hours per week here. Wow, that's that's phenomenal. That's that's really cool. So, you know, it's just saving you clicks. Or I can just say, hey, on Monday I spent two hours here. 
uh, and then it adds it onto Monday. So that, that's that's really really cool. And then if I just add the timesheet, it's going to bring it over here. If I want to do it the long, the quote unquote long way, which is uh, obviously not that in, not that uh, time consuming, but um, so really cool stuff here. Um, really love this feature. We've been asking for it. Uh, also, yeah, you have the uh, just your categories. So if I want to, you know, I had some meetings, I had some uh, trainings. Uh, it's going to add it just right here. So really, really cool stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and submit it. So if I um, just go ahead and click submit here, you'll see uh, six time cards submitted. You cannot submit blank time card. Okay, service now. I'm sorry. Ooh, that's too much time. All right, no blank time cards for me now. Yeah, so if it was blank, it just didn't get submitted. It just gave me an error, so that's fine because it makes perfect sense. If I had no meeting time, why would I need a time card for meeting submitted? Uh, so let's go ahead and just see if I can find my uh, my time card here. Here's a time card I submitted, and um, for the week start, just say and choose any Sunday. I bet if I try to choose a midday week here, it's gonna say no good. Yeah. Weekday must be so you have to choose a Sunday, which is great. Uh, we have our total hours. Nothing crazy here, nothing really crazy needed. Uh, we just need a summary of the hours and hear the comments. And you'll see down on our related list we have each time card record. Which is really how ServiceNow has always had it. They've had, you know, everything's always been this time card. Um, you know, type of functionality where one record per task, but really, ServiceNow just gave a nice wrapper over that, um, which obviously Service Portal's you know the best front end. Uh, I think uh, UX and UI that there is out there uh, right now for enterprise applications, but uh, it's really, just really cool that um, ServiceNow. You know, so everybody is upgrading. There's going to be no difference for the, you know. There's not going to be any pain point, any pain in upgrading, you know, to this new time card functionality because we're not changing the core engine. We don't have to, right? We just gave it a better interface uh, on top of it, and then and then we just added, you know, that that time sheet parent record that just kind of contains all of this week's time entries, right? Makes sense. Um, yeah, so, um, and it's funny, I actually, I, I've built this kind of timesheet functionality for several customers just just because they wanted to, you know, how do I just see all the time I submitted for this week without having to go through all this time card? So, not that that was anything too too special, um, and really the huge the huge win is this, this worker portal. I mean, this is going to be utilized. I think, you know, this is going to compete with some of the major, major uh, time card applications and being able to eliminate those. Um, out of your out of your uh, budget is probably going to be pretty huge. So I think that's it for this demo. My name is Michael Lombardo with GlideFast Consulting. If you have any questions, you can email me at mike at glidefast.com. Thanks.